The story takes place long after a nuclear war wiped out humanity. Earth is now a wasteland, empty and lifeless, except for one being, an old man who roams the desolate land alone. His name was once Bruce Banner, though there's no one left to call him that. He's aged, frail, with only traces of hair, having lived in solitude for almost 200 years. He barely remembers his past life and speaks only occasionally, usually to a hovering robotic camera. This camera, left by ancient aliens, follows him everywhere, recording the last human for others to see what happened to Earth. Bruce blames his endless life on his other side, the Hulk. He's wanted to die for years, but the Hulk won't allow it. Hulk is still obsessed with being the strongest, keeping Bruce alive against his will. Hulk's powers mean that Bruce can consume anything with energy, allowing him to survive in the wasteland. As Bruce wanders alone, the Hulk emerges at night, restless and angry, smashing whatever he can find just to let out his frustration. Yet he has nothing and no one to fight, and this constant anger only only deepens his resentment toward Bruce. The Hulk hates being bound to Bruce, whom he sees as weak. During his lonely days, Bruce reflects on his past life. He remembers the times the Hulk tried to live as different personas, even once as a gangster in Las Vegas. He recalls Earth's past, filled with heroes like the Avengers and Spider-Man, who once fought to save humanity. But in the end, humans destroyed their world, not aliens or monsters. One day, as Bruce walks through the desert, he senses the ground shake. He's terrified because he knows that some creatures, mutated by the radiation, have survived. Massive, mutated cockroaches roam the wasteland, and a swarm is now heading his way. As he tries to flee, the Hulk takes over, furious and ready to fight. But even Hulk's strength isn't enough to stop the swarm, and they eventually consume him. Yet the Hulk regenerates, healing rapidly as Bruce watches through the alien camera, amazed at how Hulk can bounce back from death time and again. Over the years, Bruce has tried to end his life, but each attempt is stopped by the Hulk. One day, in desperation, Bruce jumps off a cliff, hoping for an end. The Hulk takes over mid-fall, furious that Bruce tried to die. After that, Bruce retreats to a cave, where he dreams of a peaceful memory of his past love, Betty Ross. For a moment, he's young again, with Betty in a beautiful setting, but he wakes to find himself in the wasteland, experiencing a heart attack. This time, he realizes he might truly be dying. Bruce reflects on the old Greek myth of Prometheus, punished to die over and over. He tries to convince Hulk to let go of his anger, suggesting they could finally rest and join their friends. But Hulk, filled with rage, refuses and lashes out, saying he just wants to be left alone. By morning, Bruce has passed away. The Hulk sits alone, finally the strongest, yet now truly alone. And for the first time, he realizes that with Bruce gone, he has no one left, and he will be forever alone.